Hi everyone, Colleen here. I wanted to share a card with you today. It's using a very beautiful stamp set, which is uh, one of our constant campaigns for the month of May. And it's uh, the beautiful front door. It's from uh, Love for Mother. And there it is there. Hopefully you can see that. But I just love this set. I actually bought the, the whole set for um, $46.50. It's normally retails at $58.50. But I just thought it was such a beautiful set, so I bought that. And I've already made a card and posted it to my mum. But I thought I'd make a, another one and show you how it looks made as a birthday card. Now, there's the stamp there. As you can see, it says, um, uh, Best Mum Ever and Happy Mother's Day. And I stamped that and made put that on the card. And I really thought it was beautiful. Um, I've already pre-cut... I hand cut it out, a fussy cut, and I've coloured them in with our tri-blend markers so that when it goes on the front it'll look like that. So that's our door and our bit stamped out. Now I used um, intense black ink to, to um, cut that out, uh, stamp that with, and so we're going to get on with um, making this um, up right now. The other two stamp sets that I used in this one here for the happy birthday here I have used the um, stamp of the month this month, which is time to celebrate. And I've used the happy and the birthday down here. But I love this one because you, you can mix and match them all and they're, it's just really cool. Uh, the other thing I have used is this one here. And I'm going to stamp in this one, uh, best wishes on your special day. And this is celebrating you. This is out of the new uh, catalogue at the moment that's available. Um, so yeah, so I'm using this one. I think this is lovely with all the different happy birthdays in it. It's really one of my favourites. The other thing we're going to be using today, and I've cut it from the Cricut using the stencil sheet. Now I've cut this at six inches, and I need to wipe it off, but I thought I'm not wiping it off while I'm still using it. And it's from here, from page 56, from the art booking cartridge and I cut it at six inches because it'll tell you to cut it at ten um, and I've made this up here so that I can have that brick background and that's what I really liked about it. Um, I was going to use the um, subway tile embossing folder but for the life of me I don't know where it is. Uh, we had it the other day and I haven't been able to find it since so my daughter may have put it somewhere else and I haven't asked her yet. So it's just your standard size card, which is five and a, four and a quarter by five and a half. Um, our little panels that we'll be using today for this card. I'll pop this out of the way. So our card is four and a quarter by five and a half. Our matting panel is four inches by five and a quarter. This panel here measures uh, three and seven eighths by five and one eighths. I just wanted a small black border around and this piece, piece measures three and seven eighths by one inch and that was just just to give me that the sort of a side sidewalk look here this one I've cut a bit deeper but I when I made my mum's I made it a bit smaller and I actually preferred that to the larger one but it's your choice if you you can make that piece as deep as you want it's up, up to you so first of all we will get started on our panel here. Now I have stuck this down with some washi tape just onto a piece of scratch paper onto a bit of um, the copy paper and I'm just going to slide my piece in underneath and I'm going to try and make sure that it all lines up so that I don't end up I did one earlier and I, I didn't I wasn't watching what I was doing and it actually came out and it was crooked and it looked really silly. So I'll make sure that that looks reasonably straight up in there. And then we'll take our ruby ink and a sponge. And you're going when you're sponging this, you need to sponge light and dark sections. You don't want it to be too deep in one colour. And I just sponged over it like this. So it's not a hard thing to do. 
So I'm just adding some colour in around it to start with. I didn't bother about the middle because the door's going to close it over. The only problem is you end up with ink all over your hands. But you need to sort of hold it into place. Hopefully it hasn't moved on me. And I found if you sweep up in some of them, when you when you get it a bit darker, you actually end up with um, a bit of a shadow on the bottom edge of the brick. You don't need to go right to the bottom because you're going to be covering that anyway with the piece. That should do. It doesn't need to be perfect. That's not the aim of it. Oh. And there we have our brick wall. Hopefully I have put enough ink on that. No, I could do with just a touch more on this side here. So if I slide it back in, hopefully I can line it all back up again. about right. I just need to twist it just a touch. There we go. Because the only place I want to put some more ink is just in here. There we go. Yep. Oh, I'll move that out of the way now. I'll just give my hands a bit of a wipe because they're now all covered in ink. So that's all you need to do there. I'll pop the lid back on. And now what we're going to do is attach that to the black. Oh, there it is. Couldn't see it for looking. It was sitting right next to me. So this is not a difficult card by any means. It's quite a simple, easy little card to do. It just takes a little bit of time to colour it in and I just stamped, adhered the, um, the, the door onto, um, onto a larger block. This one here I, I popped it on to stamp it with. So, Okay, so there's that. Now we're going to stamp our birthday greeting. Now I've re-inked and I've got ink everywhere. I haven't had a very good day actually. So now because they're two separate stamps, I've just interlaced them together here in the middle so that they will give me a nice um, happy birthday. And I'm going to put it slightly towards the bottom. And there we go, there's our happy birthday, which I've put upside down. Well done, Colsey, you noodle head. <laughs> I'll have to do that again, kitties. Right, I'll put the lid on that for a minute. Oh well, nothing like a live thing to be making mistakes on, is there? Right, so this is three and seven eighths. Right, let's try that again. And this time I better read it before I stamp it. Happy birthday, got it. <laughs> Put that towards the bottom. There we go. Now it's the right way around. What a numpty. Oh, and while we're at it, we might as well stamp the greeting on the inside of the card. So this is best wishes on your special day. That's crooked. Let's shut our eyes and pretend I didn't do it.
That's what I always tell the person at the supermarket when I buy the groceries. And they say how much it comes to. I just said, just shut your eyes and pretend I didn't spend that much money. They get to laugh. But that's what it is nowadays. Because I used to shop every couple of days when I was before all this COVID-19. So now I have to shop once a fortnight and it's driving me crackers because it's costing me more. Because I have a tendency to go shopping when I'm hungry and I buy with my eyes. So I buy more food than I actually need. <laughs> yes, my husband's not real thrilled about it, but that's life. He'll get over it. Right, so here's our little piece here and this is what we're going to set onto the front there, just like that. I mean, how simple is that? The colouring in took a little bit. This one here is the, in the browns. That one's the hydrangea with the... Um, what did I use? Let me grab them out. That one there is one of those. Uh, I didn't use blue this time. I used the dull green. No, that's a citrus. That's dull green. I used that one. I used the red. I used the grey. There's the dull green. I used that one. No, it's not. That's a citrus one. I keep getting them mixed up. Yeah, that's citrus. Ignore me. I didn't use that one. I used uh, Earth Blend for the doors. And I used the gold tan on the door and the mat. So in there, that's the that's that end I used. Uh, hydrangea for these flowers over here. I can't find the yellow one. I know it's here. That's one of the other pots. Hmm. Use more than I thought. Yeah, I use those and that's the one I use. This one here, citrus blend, and I use the yellow there and in the flowers and to colour in the little flowers there. And there's the orange one, which there it is. And I use that orange there to colour in that pot. I just wanted to give it a little bit of colour around the doorway. Um, sometimes I'll use the tan one here and that I'll just colour in those pots and it gives them a real terracotta look. So I think that's what I... Yes, that's it there. So that's the that's this one here to colour them in here. And that's got more of a terracotta look. Where here I was a bit more adventurous and added a bit more colour. And that one there is the, um, what's it called? The ice, ice grey. Yeah, ice grey blend. That's that. That's what I did that one in. And the door was done in true blue. That's why I picked it up. So that's the door there on this one. So it's a matter of what, what you like that makes up this particular card. But that's all the colours that I used in this one here. Crikey's. can't even hold them. So that's the colours I've used in this one. But, like I said, your choice what colour you colour it in. Now we're just going to use some 3D foam to adhere on the back. What have I done with my scissors? Right there. Take off those little ones. Crikey's come on. Colsey, get on with it. Just add some of these on. But I love this. I thought it was beautiful. And I was thinking, even though I haven't done it, but you could also uh, stamp the flowery sections of the door again. So stamp these and then cut out round them and then pop them on. So you've got a real 3D effect. Because I think that would look really great too. So I want to put that on, try and be straight as possible, which may not happen. But I might surprise myself. And there you have it. I mean, what a simple little card is that one. I really, really liked it when um, when I first found it. So, like I said, it's a constant campaign one. So the number for it is CC42016. No, yes. 
with a letter E on the end, and that becomes the Australian version, um, the way that we spell mum, because American is M-O-M, and we're M-U-M. So your cho that, I think they're wonderful by doing that. It gives us a choice that, <clears throat> excuse me, in Australia, that we have it spelled the English way. So that's, like I said, it's just gorgeous. I just love it. And the one that they've done on here, hopefully you can see it, it's just beautiful. So, yeah, it's a really, really lovely stamp set. And I hope that, um, you you know, you get a chance to purchase one and use it. Until then, keep on creating. Bye for now.